Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea if this is your first time here. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be 10 minute or less um, mommy makeup. This is something that I put on to get out the door quickly, um, but still feel like I look put together and um, like I tried a little bit. If you can hear my kids in the background, they're both settling down for a nap. Um, so I have the monitor there and one of them is uh, still running around. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I just uh, wash and moisturize my skin. I will have a skincare video going up uh, soon so that you can see what I do um, on a daily basis. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, I've been using the Your It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream uh, Oil-Free Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. Also has SPF 40. Um, and I am in the shade light. Uh, it is a little bit dark for my neck, but as you can see, we're out in the sun. I live in Florida, so um, I'm out in the sun often, and I'm really good about putting SPF on my skin, uh, on my face, but not so much on my chest, so I am a little bit darker than what my neck is. So I'm not a makeup artist. Um, this is just what works for me, and generally I take a pump of that onto my fingers. Um, I know it's not the ideal way of applying makeup and I know that, you know, I'm probably not doing uh, any, my skin any justice, I guess, by pulling on it like this, but this is what works for me. It's also the easiest way for me to get out the door. Um, I do like doing it this way because the product itself is actually warm for my fingers and it makes it a little bit easier to work in um, because it is a CC cream but it also has the matte formula um, it kind of seems to get streaky for me if I use a brush um, and it does also seem to um, soak up a lot of product if I use like a beauty sponge um, beauty blender what have you um, I do have combination to oily skin um, I do tend to have um, dryness here around my mouth, uh, but through my T-zone, I'm a little bit more oily. Um, so I just kind of go through and make sure that I have, um, cover up a pimple I have right there on my lip. Um, just kind of putting an even layer. I do normally use about a pump of this, but I disperse it a little bit. Uh, you do about, you know, the smallest little dot each time I go back into my skin um, and I do feel like I get the most out of my product that way. So now I have my base. I feel like I definitely look a little bit better. I could um, put a little bit more here on my cheeks. I do have a little bit of uh, hyperpigmentation and a little bit of rosacea and redness there, but I'm gonna go ahead um, and leave it at that. I just am really doing something simple. We're just running errands today. Um, after the boys wake up from their naps. Um, obviously, I have makeup all over my fingers at this point, so I go in uh, with these wipes. These are makeup just remover wipes that I got from Sam's. I think it's their brand, which is Members Mark. Um, I'm not a huge fan of using them on my eyes and my face, um, but for things like this to just get the makeup off of my fingers, I use them. They tend to burn my eyes a little bit. Um, I prefer to use an oil or a balm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. Um, and the next thing I'm gonna go in with is uh, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. And I don't put very much on, I'm almost out of this, so I need to get some more. Um, I know, I believe that they have a lighter shade now, but uh, the Fair is what works best for me. Um, I do have dry under eyes, and I do use uh, an eye oil that I get from uh, the brand Desium The Ordinary. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do like to keep this on um, for a few minutes to kind of let it get warm to the skin. I feel like it gives me a little bit more coverage. Um, so I, now I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl uh, pencil for my eyebrows. Um, what is it? The Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. And it is in the shade 720 Soft Blonde. And so obviously it has really fine tip on this end and then I have a spoolie um, and I don't really like to draw my eyebrows in too much um, I just like to fill in here right in the front um, and bring it in a little bit closer to my nose and I fill up the top um, I do have a little bit of a 
cousin situation happening with my eyebrows so um and just lightly fill in some of the sparseness that I have in my eyebrows again I'm not a makeup artist this is just what works for me um and I want it to look as natural as possible I don't want to be walking out of the house looking like I took a lot of time or um you know looking ultra made up but I would like to you know kind of look put together and um, kind of have that like natural glow from within. So again, I'm just filling these out. No real rhyme or reason to it. This is just what I do and what works for me. And as you can see, I have this eyebrow is a little bit, um, the arch is a little bit further back and I don't have as much hair here through the front. It just doesn't really grow in that high. Um, but I do end up having a little bit more of a situation where I do have a little bit more of an eyebrow on this right side of me, so I'm just fill that in. And it's really the gist of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my ring fingers and blend this out. Um, again, I like using the warmth of my fingers, the ring fingers apply the least pressure. And I do have veins and discoloration on my eyelids, so I go through there as well and just kind of blend this down. And kind of brighten up the eye a little bit. And then so that my eyebrows don't look so harsh, I kind of am gonna run some of that that's left over on my ring fingers into my eyebrows and just kind of fluff them up. All right. Next I'm gonna go in, um, this is the Cody Airspun Loose Powder in the Shade Translucent Extra Coverage. Um, unfortunately, having a two-year-old, mine fell on the floor, so I have a lot of, uh, the powder is actually out of the container itself. So honestly, just take a little bit. And I take this um, e.l.f. powder uh, brush and I just kind of swirl my brush into it and kind of kick off any of the excess. And then I just go through, again, no rhyme or reason, just really trying to not move the product around that's on my skin, um, but trying to set this down a little bit without changing anything too much because you can see already you see the shininess that I have here, and then this is just kind of um, dulled down a little bit so that when I start to sweat during the day because I live in Florida or the oils, my natural oils start to come through, um, that I don't end up looking too, too oily or greasy. Again, I'm just putting a very little amount of this. Um, I know it seems like I'm kind of going in a lot, but I just really want to set all of that down and make sure that I'm not missing anything. I'd hate to have some parts of my skin show that I'm a lot more oily than I really am. All right, and that's really it for my skin. Um, this is kind of a new purchase. This is the Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. It's supposed to be a moisturizer. Um, it protects against harsh weather defense, um, and it's supposed to be soothing and uh, generally all natural. I just shake it, and I spray a little bit of this just so that I'm setting in a lot of that um, powder that we just put on. Using my hands as a fan, and just kind of tapping in. Um, the nozzle on that isn't the greatest, but I do like that it melts everything into my skin and I don't look so powdery. Again, just trying to achieve that natural, um, no makeup makeup look. I am now gonna go in, this is incredibly old. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, I should probably get a new one. This is um, a L'Oreal Transparent uh, Eyebrow Gel. Um, I just use a little bit of this on my eyebrows just to kind of make sure that they're all going in the right direction. And then I take my ring fingers and kind of tap that in, you can sometimes see a little bit of a shine. Um, but because I don't want to have really pronounced eyebrows, um, I don't like to use anything that has any sort of color. 
And the last thing that I actually go in with, this is um, another IT product. I really like uh, IT Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Mascara. Um, and I've tried all sorts of mascaras. I end up, because I have oily skin, I end up with the mascara all under my eyes, um, running around with the kids, again, sweating and being incredibly warm outside. Um, this is what I feel works the best and it stays in place. I feel like it holds a curl into my um, eyelashes. I've even tried the Lancome, um, I'm not really sure what it's called, I'll put a picture of it here, but it is a, um, a primer for your eyelashes for mascara and it comes out white. I'm not a huge fan of products like that, just kind of one and done, I really enjoy this. Um, it is a little bit on the pricey side for me, being a stay-at-home mom. Um, I know that there are some affordable mascaras out there that do great things. I know the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is a really popular one, and I know that it's kind of a dupe for the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm not a huge fan of that either. I find that that flakes off for me, so this just works best. It gives me a light coat on my eyelashes and I do go in when you first open the product and you are just you know starting to use it um, it does have a lot of product that comes off I do like it when it gets a little bit more tacky once I've had it open for about a week um, but I go back through before it dries all the way for a second layer or maybe even a third layer um, but just really quick layers and just kind of build that up a little bit. I have one eye that my eyelashes generally look pretty good and the other one is a little wonky. Um, but just building it up so it doesn't look like I have so much on, but I can kind of let my natural length and curl come through and not have blonde eyelashes that disappear. Uh, the last thing that I generally do before leaving the house, give me one second. Um, I put this on my lips. This is the Aquaphor Lip Repair Immediate Relief for severely dry lips. I don't feel like I have severely dry lips, but I do feel um, like this gives me a little bit of shine and gloss while protecting my lips. Um, I know a lot of people really like products with SPF in them when you live in a place like I do. Um, I find that it dries out my lips, and so I really like this product. Um, it gives me a little bit of shine and protection and it doesn't have color so I don't feel like it starts to fade on me or anything like that. So that was my 10 minute mommy makeup. It's a little bit longer than that. I'm explaining it to you guys but that's really it. I'll make sure that I have all of the products linked down below. So I'm now, now I'm ready to get dressed once the boys wake up, get out the door um, and run the errands that we need to. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thumbs up if you like this video and give me some comments down below. Show me your love um, and any recommendations for future videos that you'd love. And we'll talk to you soon.